There has never been a better time to enter this industry, but there's also never been a harder time to grow. With a market that's exceedingly saturated, how do you stand out and gain clients? What's the deal, everyone? Welcome back to the studio. I'm Jeremy Deal, and today I'm going to give you my five tips on creating a six-figure real estate photography business from scratch this year. But don't let that fool you because these tips are applicable to any business model. I'll just be focusing on real estate photography because let's be real, that's my personal company's niche. All that being said, let's dive in. Boom, boom. This is my logo, uh, I guess. First tip, focus on the cheap properties. And when I say cheap, I mean the cheaper, the better. Everyone believes the big money is in luxury real estate. And that can be true if you're in a luxurious area and already support a high luxury portfolio. But for anyone just starting off, the best thing to do is simply get a foot in any door. Oh, hey there, luxury listing agent. I've been trying to get up with you, man. I'm a local real estate photographer and I would love to get your business. Anyway, I can do that. Oh, hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Nice to meet you in person. We sure do get a lot of emails from you. Well, now that you're here in person, let me check out that portfolio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my portfolio. Just look through these. I mean, this is nice and all, but do you have anything in your portfolio that cost over a million dollars? Because that's usually what I list. You know that, right? There are tons of agents out there that deal with bulk, low price properties that are not looking for the highest quality images. Just a reliable and affordable photographer that can handle the workload. Maybe they work with investors or manage properties for rent. Maybe they work for a bank or a bank's real estate division. Who knows? Secret, just don't be too stuck up on what you present. And that brings us straight into tip number two. Don't be afraid of tarnishing your brand by shooting a lower quality. You'll have a choice to make very early on in your career. What's more important, the money you take in or the style and quality of work you produce? If you're truly in this to make money and support yourself, then don't be afraid to have a lower quality, bulk quantity style of imagery. Please, sir, give me a chance. I have no gigs and no money. I've been kicked out of my house, but I have the best portfolio and I only shoot with the best gear. Hire me. I'll reiterate from the previous fact, if you do not live in or near an extremely luxurious area, then it will be very difficult to break into this side of the industry and create a full-time income from it. Start small and build up your network. Tip number three, spend less time researching how to create better images and more time on how to market and run a business. Real estate photography is an incredible profession. One that allows you to write your own hours, live the life you want to, but simply having the best images is not going to do that for you. If you don't teach yourself how to properly run and maintain a business of any size, chances are much higher of your failure than success. Do yourself a favor. If you're watching this video, go find four or five other channels devoted to growing business that's not directly related to real estate, real estate photography, or the industry in general. This will give you a much better generalized view of running a business regardless of industry. Once you know those basics, you can really hone in on how to create a company that can grow in time specifically with your niche. Next tip, spend more time networking than you ever planned before. And by networking, I don't mean hosting breakfast at an agent's office. From my experience, that just gives them free food and money out of your pocket that could be spent networking better places. Hi there, everyone. My name is Jeremy Deal. And first off, let me say thank you to the broker in charge over there of Real Deal Real Estate. Without him, I wouldn't be here giving you this breakfast speech. So enjoy the extravagant amount of food I've laid out for you so you can listen to me talk about my business. I'm Picture Your Property and I do real estate and video stuff, even though I'm pretty sure none of you are listening and just enjoying the free food in front of you. So I could say anything up here in this speech and realistically, it will probably get me very little new business from you all. As a matter of fact, you'll probably just take this information I'm giving you and giving it to the real estate photographer you already use. One thing I've noticed over the years is that the traditional ways of acquiring business in this industry that involves spending money typically have the lowest ROI, if any at all. Instead, join networking groups. 
Hey there, Jeremy. How's it going? This is Broker in Charge over at Real Deal Real Estate. Called in to see if you have any availabilities because I looked on my schedule and I see that no one is hosting our breakfast meeting in two weeks. And I wondered if you wanted the opportunity to get back in front of some of our agents. Oh, hey, what's going on there, Broker in Charge? Yeah, no doubt. I would love to come by and do another one of those breakfast meetings, but actually I've decided this year to kind of push back on those, but I will be going to that next Network Charlotte meeting if you want to catch me there and talk shop. No, no, I totally understand. Marketing dollars are expensive and valuable. I didn't even know that networking event existed, but you know, I think I might just see you there. All right, I look forward to it. You never know who you're going to meet and how high volume that person can produce. I have agents on my roster that sell two houses a year, and I have other agents that sell 30 houses a month. The absolute best way to get new business is to meet new people. Maybe for you, that means going to church more or being more involved in your child's life to meet their parents. Maybe you're like me and you only have the furry kind. Take them out, go to dog parks, bring them to a training class. All right, Winnie, you ready to go make that some money? Join every networking group you can find. And no, I do not mean the ones on Facebook. I mean person-to-person -person networking groups. Nothing will get you a client faster than your personality and drive to convince that person of it. Use your biggest strength, your personality, to your advantage. And step outside of the digital world to meet people in social environments face-to-face. -face. This is one tip alone that has been my most successful marketing strategy to date. Not only does it cost zero money or very little, it puts you in front of people. They're looking to do business. Want a bonus tip? Don't pigeonhole yourself. Don't be strictly a real estate photographer if you don't have to. Offer other services. Real estate agents love to have a one-stop shop kind of environment. They like to get photos and videos and drone and 360 tours all in the same place. You know what else they like to order? measurements and appraisals. So this bonus tip may have sounded like that, but this is really the tip. Partner up with other companies that are small, that offer services similar to yours. One of my biggest breaks was teaming up with a company that does measurements and appraisals on the side. They didn't offer photography, but they always had agents asking for it. So I partnered up with them and we share business. Anyone who asks me for measurements and appraisals gets sent to them. Anyone who asks them for photography and video gets sent to me. And it has been an incredible working relationship for literally years now, six, seven, eight. I can't remember how long it's been, but it's been a great working relationship. And that's because once again, don't pigeonhole yourself into such a tiny spot as just real estate photography. Be a real estate content creator, even though that sounds really horrible when you say it aloud. I hate the word content creator, right? But either way, that's what we are. I create video, 360s, everything. You name it, they buy it. Next tip, your gear does not matter, not at all. Stop obsessing over the best gear or the latest gear or the newest gear or the gear you love, and instead jump in with what you have right now and build your photographic arsenal with the money you make along the way. Instead of focusing all your time on gear, find yourself a quality outsource editor instead. And if you want tips on how to do that, check out this video where I discuss the most important thing you can look for, in my opinion, or you can check out this video if you wanna see the style of real estate videos I personally create. As always, keep rocking and rolling, enjoy what you're doing, make smart business decisions, and Get out there and make some money. I'll catch you next time.